Welcome to today's matchup between the visiting Cardinal Spelman Cardinals and Brockton High School. And now for your starting lineup. For the Cardinal Spelman Cardinals, number 10, senior Ava Maleri, captain. Number 15, senior Madison Fry, captain. Number 11, senior Molly Farrell, captain. Number 13, senior Carolyn Cook, captain. And zero, number zero, excuse me, senior Lauren Sexton, captain. Number 21, junior Kaylee Palmer. Number 19, junior Allison McCoyle. Number three, junior Tyler Nicholson. Number seven, junior Kylie Flynn. Number four, sophomore Alyssa Belmont. And number one, freshman Marina Duffy. Head coach of Cardinal Spellman, Mike Perry. And now for your starting lineups for the Brockton High School boxes. Number 10, seniors, midfielder, Captain Mia Otero. Number 11, senior defenseman, Captain Jayla Curran Stewart. Number 24, senior midfielder, Captain Alicia Tockman. At goal, junior, Ailish Olmsted. Number one, junior midfielder, Lena Marion. Number three, junior midfielder, Anaya Barrows. Number six, junior defenseman, Jada Fernandez. Number eight, senior midfielder, Madison Moore. Number nine, sophomore striker, Jera Rodericks. Number 14, Senior defenseman, defenseman, excuse me, Diana Desroville. And number 17, junior defenseman, Dylene Souza. We have a little bit of an issue with the national anthem refs. We, we cannot play the national anthem. We have a little problem, so we can start right into the to the game head coach of Brockton High Tim Kaprinsky Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to Marciano Stadium in Brockton, Massachusetts, Brockton High School. We are here for the matchup between the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals in the Brockton High Boxes. I am your commentator, Christopher Bazil. In this matchup, we got a we got a matchup of pretty much two two evenly balanced teams in terms of style of play and record. Cardinal Spellman comes into this one around 500 and the boxers, the lady boxers are 500 as well. The boxers actually took the last meeting at Cardinal Spelman High School um, about last, about a couple weeks ago, 1-0. One, one and the lady boxers winning that one. But let's see, let's see what this one plays out to. This one should be a, a, an entertaining one, just like the matchup last time at Cardinal Spelman. Yeah, Card yeah, Cardinal Spellman is in the white kit and the lady boxes are in black. Yeah, Cardinal Spellman is located in Brockton as well. The private school in Brockton.
So this one should get the get the kickoff soon. A beautiful temperate day here in, in Brockton. No wind chill, just sunshine. And not much coolness at all. Yeah, Brockton High midfielder slash striker Madison Moore, number eight. Let's see if she could let's see if she can contribute again today. Leads the team with ten goals. And we are underway. Here's there's Madison Moore with the deflection. This one will go the lady box's way. Jared Rodriguez in the battle. And here's Brockton on the offensive end. Kicked out of play, and Brockton will get the possession. Mia Otero on the free kick, and that one's too high. Yeah, Coach Kompritsky, Brockton High coach, game plan in this one. Game plan in this one is pretty much the counter attack and keep keep Cardinal Spellman on their heels. The entire game. Ailish Olmstead is starting at goalie for Brockton. Ball to Cardinal Spellman way. This one's on sides, and here's Cardinal Spellman. One on one with the goalkeeper. Wow, nice defensive stop by Ailish Olmstead. This will be a corner coming up for Cardinal Spellman. The shot on goal is no good. Both teams, both both teams, showing offense very early in this one. Here's Cardinal Spellman the other way. Nice dribble. A fall. Yeah, that was number 19. Alyssa McColl. She'll get the free kick. And Ailish Olmstead will take care of that one. Save for her. Mia Otero on the left side. Madison Moore. No good there.
Alicia Talkman. Laura Sexton boots that one. Cardinal Spellman goalkeeper down the field. The ball will be going Brockton's way. Corner for Brockton, a bit too high. Ailish Olmstead will take care of that one. Yeah, talking talking to Coach Kaprinsky early before the start of this game. Ailish Olmstead's play has really just. And as we have Cardinal Spellman on the other side on the attack, nice set of moves by the striker. That one is out of play. That will be a goal kick for Ailish Olmstead. Ailish Olmstead's confidence and leadership has just been increasingly, increasingly getting better lately. She's she's allowed a a lower a lower amount of goals in her in her recent games. She's been playing pretty well here in her junior season. As Brockton's just looking for 
a spot in the playoffs. That is number ball attended to Madison Moore. Jalena Davis on the other side of the ball. Get, wins the tackle. Mia Otero falls on the floor. It'll be a foul for her. Lena Marion. Offsides against Cardinal Spellman. Alicia Talkman for the throwing for the lady boxers. Here's the lady boxes now on the other side. Nice strike by attended for Madison Moore, but it's no good. A bit too out of her reach. Substitution for the Cardinals Spellman Cardinals. Number three, Taylor Nicholson comes into the game. Number 24, Alicia Talkman dribbling down the right side. Could she keep control of the ball? No. Taken out by her. Nice defensive play by her. The Cardinal. Cardinal Spellman substitution, number eight, Skylar Jackis. Brockton High substitution, number two, Jaylena Davis. Skyla Jekis, number eight, checks in for the Cardinals. And number two for the Lady Boxers, Jalena Davis, midfielder, checks in. Jada Fernandez should take care of that one. Passes it back to Olmstead. She'll give it to Jayla Corinne Store, and she cannot handle it. It'll be a throw-in for the for Cardinal Spellman. Coming up on 25 minutes left in the first half. Both of these teams have been playing pretty pretty even as I said earlier. Pretty much what I pretty much what I've expected here today. Jada Fernandez number 9, number 10 Mio Otero. Keep 
foul on the play. Number one, Marina Duffy on the play for Cardinal Spellman. Nice, nice set of dribbling by number nine, Jada Fernandez. As she fell to the floor. Je excuse me, Jared Rodriguez. Ayla Shomstead should boot this one. Pass to the left side. Jayla Corinne Stewart, number 11, wins the contest, but pass is intercepted. Mio Terra on the tackle, no good. Ooh, wow. Number 15 for Cardinal Spellman. Madison Fry tumbles on the floor. Senior, senior number 15, Madison Fry for the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals. Actually, the leading goal scorer for their club. Marina Duffy, number one. Number 19. Foul on the play. The shot on goal is no good for Cardinal Spellman. Cardinal Spellman substitution number seven, Kylie Flynn. Number seven, Kylie Flynn checks into the game for Cardinal Spellman. Ailish Olmstead on the carry. The boot by Laura Sexton down midfield. Number three, Anaya Barrow for the Lady Boxers try to get a foot in it. And here's and here's Cardinal Spellman the other way. Wow. That was a nice defensive stop by number 14, Deanna Desernville. 
And Alicia Talkman gets deflected, gets deflected down there. Coming up on 19 minutes to play in the first half. Timeout called on the field by Brock. Timeout on the field. Coach Tim Kaprinsky. A little, a little hyped, a little hyped and a little demanding of his lady boxers right now. Both of these teams are pretty even on the on the score on the stat sheet. Alish 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 Olmstead with a few saves. Cardinal Spellman goalkeeper Laura Sexton with a couple. And both of these teams with several shots on goal so far already. A couple of of or a few. And both of these teams each having about one corner. Number 14, Deanna Desertville will take this throw in. Alicia Talkman, number 24. Nice set of dribbling by Jerry Rodriguez, number nine. Her shot attempt was deflected by the Cardinal Spellman player. Number 15, Madison Fry. Desertville. Number nine, Jared Rodriguez. Cardinal Spellman, number nineteen's on sides. Wow, nicely, nicely defended by Jayla Curran Stewart. Stops a goal scoring opportunity there cleanly and, and fluidly as well. Number one, Marina Duffy is shot, is deflected.
Number four, Alyssa Belmont. We'll have to hold on the free kick. And wow, nicely blocked by number 14, Deanna Desertville. Wow, the, the 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 lady boxer defensive team has just been just been all stars lately. Here's a look on the play here again. As Deanna Desertville just just one of the one of the stars on this team on the defensive side, her and Jayla Current Stewart, probably the best defensive backfield in the in the league in the conference. Jayla Current Stewart right there again. And here. As Deanna Desertville on the foul, number 14. Number 19, Alyssa McCole on the free kick. No good. Ailish Olmstead will take care of it. Ailish Olmstead playing a fine game early on so far. As well as Laura Sexton for Cardinal Spellman. Number 8, Madison Moore looking to gain on the offensive side. Foul on the play against Kylie Flynn of, of Cardinal Spellman. Coming up on 14 minutes to play in the first half. Here's Cardinal Spellman on sides. Nice, a nice, a nice strike, but easily saved by Ailish Olmstead. That was number 15, Madison Fry on the strike. Cardinal Spellman substitution number three, Tyler Nicholson. Brockton High substitution number seven, Melanie Tavares. Number seven, Melanie Tavares checks in for Brockton. As number as number three, Tyler Taylor Nicholson checks in for Cardinal Spellman. Alicia number twenty four, Alicia Talkman. Free kick is no good. Number 19, Alyssa McColl. She's been very active in this game early. A lot of opportunities so far for her. Ilish Olmstead will get the ball here. Alyssa McColl again, number 19. And she's blocked by number six, 
Jada Fernandez. Nice defensive play by Jada Fernandez. And here's McCole again. Ailish Olmstead with another save. Alicia Talkman down the right side. Alyssa McCole, number 19, the forward again. McCole playing with the ball a bit against the defender. McCole is no good. Nice pass by Marina, number one, Marina Duffy, two, number 15, Madison Frapp, but that was offsides. Cardinal Spellman has had their chances lately going on. Couldn't, can't quite seem to get the back of the net. Number 10, Mia Otero. Whoa. Walk away with the possession. Number 14, Deanna Desertville playing, playing a great game so far. Deanna De 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 Desertville, the defensive back. The senior of the team. Had a great year last year as well on the defensive side. Number 19, Alyssa McCole was looking for a, a Cardinal Spelman forward, but no one was there. And Jayla Corinne Stewart will patiently dictate and manipulate Spelman, and Spelman will get the ball. Cardinal Spelman substitution, number 21, Kaylee Palmer. Brockton High, substitution number 15, Martina Grind. Martina Grind comes in for Brockton, and Kaylee Palmer comes in for Spellman. Ailish Elmstead with a safe catch right there with Cardinal Spellman on the box, inside the box. Cardinal Spellman dominating the possession lately with eight minutes to go in the first half. Number 15, Martina Grind. Let's see what she could produce for Brockton. The, the, freshman, the freshman striker. There's Martina Grind, left side. Ball is out of play. Madison Fry with the pass to the right side. And here is Spellman on the attack again. And a goal for Spellman. 
A goal to the left side of the net. A nice pass by Spellman. Fools the defender a bit in the goalkeeper and she scores. Cardinal Spellman will take the lead now, 1-0. Number 11, Jayla Corinne Stewart. Cardinal Spellman goals scored in the sixth minute of the first half by number one, Martina Duffy. Here's Brockton on the answer. Ooh, a split by me, number 10, Mio Otero. Yeah, number one freshman Marina Duffy with the goal scored. Here's Maria Otero's nice pass and going to nobody, Mio. Brockton substitution number eight, Madison Moore. Number eight, Madison Moore checks into the game late in the first half. The leading goal scorer for the club. With 10 goals on the year. Lady Boxes certainly need her now. Deanna Desertville. Jerry Rodriguez on the strike, but far, far left. Nice chance by Brockton. And Laura Sexton on the goal kick. Number 14, Deanna Daniels, Desertville again. Marina Duffy wins that battle. A nice pass to Madison Fratt on sides. And Olmstead will, another save for her. Alish Olmstead asking for a, a bit more offensive pressure against Cardinal Spillman. Duffy with a nice pass to Fry again. Madison Fry dribbling with so much green in front of her, and she scores. Madison Fry dribbling confidently. Nobody around here. The side of her foot, goal. Nice strike by her. Nicely scored. Cardinal Spumman, goal scored in the second minute of the first half by number 15, Madison Fry.
A 2-0 lead. Brockton High, substitution number 12, Jalea DeAndrade. Two nil lead for the Cardinal Spelman Cardinals so far. Taking a er, taking a big early and a big advantage in this one. Official time will be kept on the field. Two minutes on the field will be kept. Here's Cardinal Spellman on another attack. Marina Duffy. Duffy all alone. And she doesn't beat Ailish Olmstead there. As Ailish Olmstead gets another save. About her fifth save already so far in the game. Ja Jada Fernandez is... Loses possession there. Number nine for the Lady Boxers. She's been a bit active so far. Wow. Number three's pass. Number three, Anaya Barris' pass to number 10, Mia Otero, makes her fall a bit. Cardinal Spellman will get the possession there. Jayla Corinne Stewart gets the ball and gets gets the possession arrow. The Lady Boxer defensemen have been have been playing well for the majority of the game, but just been a getting exposed by by the crisp passes by Cardinal Spellman, which which led to Cardinal Spellman Cardinal Spellman's opportunities in their goals. That's halftime. It is halftime here in Marciano Stadium with the late Cardinal Spellman Cardinals leading the Lady Boxers 2-0. Ailish Olmstead, despite giving up two goals, she's been playing pretty well in this one. Several saves already. Laura Sexton, a clean sheet for her, the goalkeeper for the Cardinals. And also Madison Fry and, and Marina Duffy scoring a little late in the first half. 2-0 lead for the Cardinals. And we'll be back for second half action right after this. I'm Christopher Brazil. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. I'm Christopher Brazil, coming back for second half action from Marciano Stadium. The Brockton Lady Boxers find themselves down two against the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals in city rival. Cardinal Spellman scoring both goals by Marina by Marina Duffy in. Madison Fry, the Cardinal Spellman offense has been playing well in this one. The midfield action for for Brockton High just hasn't been there. Deanna, number 14, Deanna and Desreville on the throw to Alicia Talkman. Number 10, Mia Otero. Jayla Corinne Stewart on the pass. The Lady Boxers coming off a defeat from their last matchup against Newton South, one of the best teams in the state. Only losing the, to them 2-1. to one. They're ranked, they're ranked seventh in, in D1 South. But find themselves 2-0 against Cardinal Spellman. Oh, 
And here's J Jada Fernandez. No, she's fouled. Should have shot it earlier. Should have shot in it earlier, but she falls to the ground. Gets shoved to the ground. Yeah, Cardinal, Cardinal Spellman, a D3 school. Ranked 11th in their division. Playing with a five, with a, around a 500 record. Both of these teams ranked around the middle of their pack in division. Both of these both of these teams should be fighting for the playoffs. Cardinal Spellman and Brockton High. Alyssa McCole dribbling around the world as she was fouled. Coming up with 37 minutes to play in the game in the second half. Deanna Desmondville just kicks that one out. And is Ailish Olmstead in? It's a goal. It looks like an own goal. It looked like an own goal. Let's see this replay. Madison Fry boots it. Jelly Current Store tried to take it out, but it just didn't work. Spellman goal scored in the 36th minute of the second half by number 15, Madison Fry. Yeah, Madison Fry scoring her second goal of the afternoon, having a having a great game for the Cardinals. Cardinal Spellman has been playing quite flawless in this one. Brockton will retain possession on the offensive end as Lena Marion will throw this in. Olmstead bats that one out. Should be a corner coming up for Cardinal Spillman. Nineteen, number nineteen. Alyssa McCole will take this. It's a nice booming corner.
Number six, Jada Fernandez with another opportunity. Let's see what she could do here. Passes it to Madison Moore. Let's see how let's see how patient this Brockton offense could be. Back to Alicia Talkman. Mia Otero. Mia Otero trying to gain position. And she does not win that battle. Jayla Curran Stewart with a, another opportunity for the ball. Olmsted will take it. Cardinal Spellman 2-2 two two in their league, in their conference league. Austin Prep, Austin Prep and Bishop Fenwick are, t are, are at the top of the league, the competitive teams in the league. And they're sort of, and here's a, a, another opportunity for us, Spellman, but that was no good. Bishop Fenwick and Austin Prep High Schools are at the top. They're in the middle of the pack, sitting at two and two, looking to get, the, looking to advance a bit. Jera Rodriguez. Foul against Cardinals. Coming up with 31 minutes to play in the game. Boxes down 3-0. They need it. They need an answer quickly. Mia Otero will take this boot. Deflected. Nice header by Desmondville. Number 15, Madison Fry is on sides with a nice pass from number seven, Madison Fry. Olmstead nearly had it, and Curran Stewart boots that one out. Madison Fry. Nice strike, a nice save by Ailish Olmstead. And Curran Stewart does the job preventing a fourth goal. Souza, number 17, the junior defensive back will get this thrown in. Colonel Spellman substitution, number 20, Morgan Oliver. Number 20, Morgan Oliveira checks into the game for Cardinal Spelling. Dalen Souza wasn't able to get there, and Oliveira will get a throw in. Cardinal Spellman coming up a loss, coming up, coming up, coming out of a uh, an embarrassing defeat out of from Bishop Feehan High School out of Attleboro, a seven to one defeat. They, they certainly look a lot better today as Alyssa McCole will get this free kick. McCole. Ailish Olmstead bats it down and trying to 
hoping her offense could produce a bit as the defense has been on the side of the ball lately. 28 minutes to go, here's Mio Otero. Brockton substitution number seven, Melanie Tavares. Madison Fry all alone, the left side of the field, on sides. What could she do? No good. I guess she was looking for a Morgan Oliveira. That one just out, way out in front of her. Madison, Madison Fry playing like a star today. Two goals. And, 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 and some touches, and a, a number of touches for her as well. Twenty-six minutes to play in the game. The Lady Boxers hope are, are just getting slimmer and slimmer by the second. Mia Otero, could she gets the ball stolen? Jayla Corinne Stewart looking looking for Daylene Souza wasn't quite fast enough to get there. And Oliveira will take the throw in on the other side. Mia Otero way downfield. Lennon Marion, number one. Nice pass. Nicely defended by Spellman. Cardinal Spillman defense has just playing really good in this in this one. Brockton just hasn't even gotten to their side of the field at all in the second half. And here's another opportunity for number 15 Madison Fry, and that one's out of play. No, that ball is nowhere to be found. As Coach Kaprisky is calling a substitution. Arnold Spellman, substitution number 21, Kaylee Palma. Number 21, Kaylee Palma catch checks in for Cardinal Spellman. As we have Jelena Davis soon to come in for, for the boxers to give to give Brockton some midfield action on both on both sides of the field where Brockton has been struggling. Alish Olmstead will boot that one.
onside pass to Madison Fry. Could she beat Ailish Olmstead? No, she cannot. Offside, it's called. Lana Marion. Jayla Curran store it. And it'll show him say we'll get there. Foul on that encounter there. Bit of a warning. Strategy, the strategy Coach Kaprinsky told me earlier, Cardinal Swilman has been doing it to the lady boxers, keeping them on their heels. The Cardinal Spillman Cardinals have been doing that all game, and here's Brockton on, here's Brockton in Cardinal territory. Alicia. Mm. Pass was batted out by Mia Otero and Morgan Oliver will on, disregard what me Otero wanted. <laughs> Both of these teams standing around the 500 line. Brockton at four and four and Cardinal Spellman at five and five. Cardinal Spellman looking for the sixth win of the season about 20 minutes away from it. If Brockton could Capitalize on a miracle. Three goals scored and coming up in 20 minutes. Number six, Jada Fernandez. As Brockton has been playing a bit conservative lately. Looking, looking for the offensive side. Looking Listen, Nicole. Fine dribbling by Lisa McColl the entire game. Try to try to keep it onside for Morgan Oliveira, but Dalen Souza was there. Brockton substitution number two, Jaylena Davis. Corinne Stewart will does what she does, manipulating the defender, but that was number 10, Ava, Ava Moller, who gets that one out of there. And Brockton will still keep the possession. Brockton substitution number 15, Martina Grind. Number 15, Martina Grind, the freshman striker, checks into the game for a second time. As Deanna Desmondville just kicks that one out. Colonel Spellman substitution, 
Jones. Number two, Andrea Vieira. Number seven, Kylie Flynn. Andrea Vieira, number two, and Kylie Flynn, number seven, checks into the game for Cardinal Spillman. Alyssa McColl with a free kick. Number, number 19, Alyssa McColl. In the strike. The strike by Madison Ford with a right foot a bit above the top right corner. It was a nice strike, but a bit too high and a bit too strong. Number 15, Madison. Number 15, Madison Fry on the strike. Playing a great game. Looking for more goals. So after and we have a foul on the play. Here's Madison Fry all alone in the middle of the field. Middle of the Madison Fry dribbles through the defense. Madison Fry misses. Another, another opportunity by number 15, Madison Fry. Splits the, def splits the defenders and misses it to the left side. As Cardinal Spem looking for their fourth goal of the game. That is number seven, Kylie Flynn. And that'll be a goal kick coming up for the Blady Boxers. Lady boxes on the other side. Number seven, Melanie Tavares, tumbles a bit as Madison Moore was looking was looking for number fifteen, Martina Grind. The lady the lady boxes will have Bridgewater Rainham coming up on Tuesday, an afternoon game, rivalry game. Rockton High substitution number four, Tanyanara Abreu. Here's Madison Moore. Madison Moore looking for number four. Madison Moore was a bit Unhappy with number four, Tainera Abreu's hustle on, on that pass. After this one, Cardinal Spemmer will be going to Austin, will be going to Austin Prep. Austin Prep High School in Arlington for a match up there. The team they just lost to yesterday. They lost to Austin Prep 4-0. And that strike by Amelia Otero is no good. There'll be, there'll be another corner coming up for Brockton. Yeah, Brockton. Yeah, Brockton coming up with their second corner of the game. Here's Mia Otero. 
Miyotero will take this in a bit too a bit too long for her teammates. Madison Moore, she cannot get there. And they'll go with the Cardinals way. The Cardinals, the Cardinals with a big matchup with Austin Prep. One of the leaders in their league. So this match is a little bit of a a little bit of a a little bit of a tune-up game. Rockton High substitution number one, Lenar Marion, number nine, Jared Rodericks. This match is a little bit of a tunic game for the for the Cardinals. Number nine, Jerry Rodriguez and Lena Mary, and number one, Lena Mary checking for the lady boxes. Lena Marion, the pass to Tanera Bar to Jerry Rodriguez. Karen Stewart, she she should get that one out of there. Here's Brockton on the opportunity, and Lena Marion is no good. Laura Sexton will take care of that one. Laura Sexton playing in a playing a pretty fine game. She's been pretty quiet lately in the second half. As she got a goal kick there, a clean sheet coming up for Laura Sexton. About 11 minutes to go. About 11:40 remaining in the game. And here's Cardinal Spellman on the other side. Madison Fry ruled onside. That one goes through the goalpost. And Madison Fry with another scoring opportunity, but missed this time. Madison Fry just playing a great game today. The Cardinal Spellman captain and goal, goal scoring leader. Madden's Fry is a senior. Fry, nice set of moves. Coming up on 10.35 to play in the second half. Here's Madison Fry, another opportunity. Madison Fry is no good. Here's Cardinal Spin with another offensive attack. Madison Fry, no good again. Madison Fry just very active. She's very hungry. She's looking, Madison Fry looking for a hat trick. She's been, she's been all over the offensive side of the field for Cardinal Spumman in this one. Playing, a, playing, just playing an outstanding game. She gets the player of the game award today. Jared Rodriguez takes the takes the fall. Madison Fry with a nice pass. Looking for number two. Number two will not get there. Number two, Andrea Vera Vieira. Wasn't quite fast enough for the pass. Spellman substitution, number three, Tyler Nicholson. Number 15. Yeah, get higher. 
Mia Otero. Jera, Jada Fernandez. No good. That's better building, that's better. Again, let's go. Lennon Marion. Brockton looking just looking just looking for a goal. This Cardinal Spellman defense is currently swarming them right now. With about ten of their players, all of their players downfield, most of them. Melanie Tavares looking for something. Could she get a strike? No. Jelena Davis will let it go out. Brockton will get it. Coming up with 7.26 to play. Brockton looking for a goal just for just just for playoff positioning. To stay positive, to stay around the positive range for the playoff seedings when, when that's a matter. And we have a foul for Melanie Tavares. Looks like, and this one looks like it's in the box. Looks like we have a PK coming up. Looks like number 10, Mia Otero will take it. Otero scores. Brockton goal scored in the sixth minute of the second half by number 10, Mia Otero. Mia Otero, Mia Otero scores on the left, bottom left corner. Gets Brockton on the board, down by two with 5.55 remaining. 3-1 game now, and not 3-0. Kylie Flynn on the contest. Official time will be kept on the field. Mio Terra with the opportunity again. There's Madison Fry with just Jayla Corinne Stewart to beat. Alyssa McCole beats the defender, crosses the defender. El Vieira, number seven, Vieira, controls the defense a bit. Crosses and she strikes and Ailish Olmstead with a, with a save. We got five minutes. A little less than five minutes to be remaining down on the field. A foul for Alyssa McCall, number 19. Alyssa McCall had a, is having a fine afternoon here. A lot of touches and a lot of dribbles for her. As Madison Fry finds herself with the ball on the offensive side again. Fry. 
Looks like a corner coming up as Corinne Stewart deflects it. Corinne Stewart has been Jayla Corinne Stewart number eleven. She's had a, she's had a busy afternoon as well. Cardinal Spellman substitution number one Marina Duffy. Listen to Cole with the corner kick. Jelena Davis keeps the possession. We had a whistle blown on the field. It's actually a, a yellow card issued to Jelena Davis. A yellow card issued to Jelena Davis, number two of the, for the Lady Boxers. I believe, I believe she was arguing with the referee. A little, a little dispute from Jalena Davis, and, and that yellow card is issued to her. She'll, she'll sit down for the remainder of this one. Mia Otero, Lena Marion. Rockton High substitution number two, Jaylena Davis. Actually, matter of fact, Coach Kapritsky actually wants her and Jaylena Davis back in the game. Jayla Curran Stewart on the race with Madison Fry, number 15, number 11. They've been doing that the entire day. And Curran Stewart will get that battle. Again, Bridge and Madison Moore. Madison Moore. I guess Madison Moore misses on the side foot. That's a nice pass by number six, Jada Fernandez. Madison Moore wasn't was on the wrong, t wrong sort of on the wrong angle side of it. Madison Moore looking for her eleventh goal of the year. That would have been a 3-2 game, but unanswered, uh, an unanswered opportunity there. Yeah, Brockton High will be versing Bridgewater Rainham rival here. 
Final score, Carlos Bowman three, Brockton High one. Brockton High will be versing Bridgewater Radiant here Tuesday. Cardinal Spellman faces their rival, Austin Prep in, the, in Arlington, Massachusetts, later, later next week. But all in all, a 3-1 game here in Marciano Stadium. The Cardinal Spellman Cardinals take the in-city rival, take, take down the in-city rival, Brockton High Boxers. Two, Madison Fry, the player of the game, two goals, several shots on goal as well, and a lot of touches for her. Alyssa, Alyssa, McCole, Alyssa McCole had a lot of touches and a lot of dribbling opportunities for the Cardinals as well. Marina Duffy scored in the first half, late in the first half. And Mia Otero prevented a clean sheet for Laura Sexton, the goalkeeper for the Cardinals. She played great today. She scored on a penalty kick late in the, late in the second half. But all in all, that is it. A 3-1 victory for the Cardinal Spellman Cardinals over the Lady Boxers here in Marciano Stadium. I am your commentator, commentator Christopher Bazil, signing out. Have a great rest of the day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, signing out.